What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? It is Tom and Lacey, and we are collecting. TLC. This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lacey collecting right now. Well, nerdlings, Missouri, amidst all of this COVID-19 stuff, wasn't hit that hard. And for better or worse, a lot of places have been starting to open up, including some of the haunts that we like to hit up, especially around sale time, meaning yes. places like GameStop and Vintage Stock. Fortunately, most of these places are taking precautions. GameStop especially, only letting five people in at a time every place really encouraging you mm -hmm. to wear a mask so guys even if your area is open up please make sure that you're being safe out there now if we are hitting up some of our favorite stores at sale time first and foremost you know i'm looking for some video games this time i grabbed the n64 game armorines project swarm and it's in a nice black it's a black cartridge, cartridge. you, so you it's always a, like i do the like the color ones. cartridges and I picked up, for the Super Nintendo, Super Widget. What the heck is on the cover of that? I, I don't know what a widget is it's or what makes him super. Purple. Well, he looks strong. He's got his <laughs> muscles. <laughs> he looks like a knockoff of a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. He kind of looks like a purple Tweety Bird, like a really poorly drawn purple <laughs> Tweety Bird. But it is an Atlas game, and in all honesty, neither game I had in the collection. They were good prices because it was buy two, get one free, so I jumped on that. However, spoilers, that third game is not coming home with us. It is going elsewhere, so I can't show you that. <laughs> what about you? I believe you got some gaming stuff I yourself. did get some gaming stuff. I got me this fun little... Pac-Man Tamagotchi. Oh my gosh. Hey, when I was a kid, when Tamagotchi was big in the 90s, I always wanted one, but they were really expensive, never could get a hold of one, so I never actually ever got on the Tamagotchi bandwagon, even though everybody had one. Tamagotchi, the original virtual reality pen. Your care determines the pets you get from Bandai. Been wanting to get myself a Tamagotchi because they're kind of making a resurgence, but then when I saw the Pac-Man one, I was like, that's perfect. It's true. Because it's Pac-Man, he just had his 40th birthday, and it's a Tamagotchi, so it's like two things in one. It literally is two things in one. Yeah, literally. All right, nerdlings. There he is out of the package. There's this, like, a rubbery Pac-Man, so I guess, like, he can sit in. Yeah. So he, he eats Aww. it. Nom, 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 and nom, then his nom. little the thingy would come at the top. And then you just play with him inside the Pac-Man. That's, That's kind of funny. Neat. So you can have him in there or not. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that was exciting. So this will be fun to, to check out and play with and see what he does. And then I got myself a little travel controller thanks to the recommendations of our dear friend Segahead. So I got me an 8-bit do that matches my Switch. Oh, here we go again with this color scheme. I know, gotta be matchy-matchy. Ta-da! As you can see, I was actually quite impressed because it's not made by Nintendo, but I mean, they did an amazing they color really match. Did nail it. it is slightly, I mean, slightly off, and you would only notice if you were being picky and really looked close at it. I liked how small and thin it is, so it makes for a very, very good travel controller. It fits in the case perfectly with this, and I don't really notice any extra bulk. Which that can often be the issue with having that travel controller. Yes. Because obviously most cases, you're not going to be putting a pro exactly, controller. Exactly, exactly. Whereas most of your switches and your Joy-Cons have the analog stick. This one has D-pads, but they work exactly the same as it. So you don't have to worry about that getting crushed or messed up in your bag, which is really, really nice. Plus it does have the actual arrow buttons and then your A button, A, B, X, Y buttons and everything. So it, it is very, I like how thin it is and it's really light. 
And you have put a little bit of game time in using this controller. I have. Already. Yes, it's. I thought it was going to be uncomfortable with how like little it is, but the fact that you're looking at another screen and not like trying to hold this up in a weird position makes it a lot easier to play with. And if you get that dreaded Joy-Con drift with the Switch lights, this takes care of it good. because good. it it overrides that. Something I finally picked up were some of the Starlink figures. I actually got four of them. We do not have any of the figures or anything except for the Star Fox set for yeah, the, the Switch. the starter pack. I got these because they're already listed on clearance for 97 cents, but when we picked them up from GameStop... They were like, I think it was like 25% off all of clearance. So, yeah. I believe it dropped these down to three cents each. Uh -huh. It's like, okay. And then yeah, we were I'll actually a little upset that they only had the, the oh, 40 no, yeah. ones. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't have any experience with Starlink, even though we got that Star Fox one. I have not yet sat down to play it. So, please let me know what I'm missing out on. And if there are any characters in particular, maybe I should be looking for. Well, I got myself a peripheral. Oh, did you I now? I did. I went the musical route. You got the miracle keyboard for the NES. No! Maracas! I got some fun Samba de Amigo maracas, and they were $3.99, but 33% off of that. Couldn't pass that up. Yeah, that's a pretty good price. Mm -hmm. So you put the uh, Wiimote in one side, the nunchuck in the other, and then you just... But the question is, what's making them rattle? What could be in there? Baby teeth? No, 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 nobody would kill a bunch of babies for maracas. How would you kill all those babies anyway? Peter, you seem off today. Are you thinking about killing infants again? No. Now you gotta kill them too. No. The other nice thing though is they've got some, uh, some grippy, um, cushiony stuff on the back. So too. hopefully you don't go crazy shaking your maracas and send them through your television. Right here, I'm, I'm getting ready to serve. All I do is throw that ball up in the air, and when I, oh, jeez. Pretty much any time we're shopping somewhere, there's one kind of item you always make sure to pick up. I do. I always make sure to come home with a plushie. So I got myself a little flying little man here. Woo, look at him fly. The best part about him is obviously since he's got his wings, you can display him by hanging him from the ceiling exactly. or something. Exactly, like we've got our little flying Koopa Trooper back there. He just flies, he flies. And he's very grumpy. <laughs> But, surprise and nerdlings, she was not the only one who got no, a plushie. No, somebody else got a plushie. Check it out. I got a plushie Brewster from Animal Crossing. He's probably your favorite character, wouldn't you say? Oh, easily. Because <laughs> he brings the greatest thing of all to Animal Crossing. Coffee. coffee. But, where does he get the pigeon milk? It just lifts up the apron. <gasps> <note. laughs> <laughs> this is a safe place he's cute with his little spectacles and his little mustache and everything i did wish he had like a little coffee cup or something that would have been that would have nice. been really cute i guess we'll have to be on the lookout maybe at build -A bear we can mm, find him a little yeah. accessory piece hey look and, we got two things with wings and i'm waiting for him to show up in new horizons oh my gosh that would be so great i'm gonna take a uh, skinny mocha chai tea with them i want my coffee black no sugar as I'm sure a lot of you know, we collect stuff all across the board. This pickup already is pretty much proof of that. <laughs> but we also collect comic books. Now, I only grabbed two because there is a new Army Ooh. of Darkness run. So, Death to Army of Check Darkness. Check out that cover. Oh, I love this. It's got that classic Army of Darkness movie poster style to it. They actually had a color variant, but the black and white, it has that like old school movie feel we to it. We actually found this issue number one had a ton of variant covers. Yeah, it did. And you had a little bit of trouble picking out the right one. I think there were two or three that I was thinking mm -hmm. about going for. Why is his saw bent? like that uh look when you get to be as old as bruce campbell sometimes there are issues it's all right are you calling him old this is gonna hurt one more for papa 
Yeah. Looking good. Looking sweet. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's not gonna like that. The only thing I'm kind of on the fence with is the artwork inside. It's a little bit simplified. Uh, it kind of has that, I don't know, almost like a pulpy feel to it. Yeah, I don't think it really looks like him all that well. But along with issue one, I did find issue two. Now this one had variants as well, and I wasn't totally sold on the whole mask cover. I'm just looking for my mask. I got it. But it was the only one that they had in there, and I didn't want to be duped into leaving the store without issue two and having yeah. to track it down later. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Oh. Well, well, hello, Vampirella. I turned right to Vampirella. That works. Since, uh, you know, there's no more Ash versus the Evil Dead, we've got to continue that story somehow. Well, I picked myself up some comics as well. I picked up one of my ghost spiders that I needed, number seven. And I also picked up Marvel Action Spider-Man number two. Then I found a new series that I didn't know was out there, uh, probably because the whole COVID thing kind of put a, a stop to visiting the comic shops. From the Gamerverse, and it's Spider-Man, The Black Cat Strikes Again. So I got issue number one, issue number two, and issue number three. We had a ton of fun with the Spider-Man PS4 yes. game and any of the storylines to do with the Black Cat. I mean, yeah, I really like the way they took the character of Black Cat in that in the game. So I was really excited to see that the two of them teaming up because they were a lot of fun. She was very fun and flirty. You look good. Been working out. And I mean, she's like that anyway, but I feel like they just, they, mo they were more playful with her than angry with her. You swinging solo now? We're back with your ex. That's a lot of questions. I'm just curious. Yeah, I hear that's bad for cats. The bevy of things that we collect continues this time with toys. You got an action figure? I know. Well, to be honest, I have kind of wanted this Lilith from Borderlands action figure for quite some time. Every time we would go into GameStop, I would see her. I was always on the fence about picking her Well, she started out, out at like 25 bucks. Yeah, and that was the problem because, I mean, you know, she's cool looking, but I didn't really feel like she was $25 cool. However, she was on clearance for $7.97, but again, they were having a sale. 25% off I think I got that. her for... I think like five bucks. Yeah. And I was happy with that. Hey, an action figure for five bucks, I can do that. She's free. The Borderlands Woohoo! figure stand. She's got her little gun. Although that hand, that's a little tricky to get that gun in there. And she looks really cool. I really like the detail on her. She's got her tattoos all over. Yeah, I definitely like her tattooing. It's really neat. I like how it's it's subtle because it's just like a blue on her white skin and you know not a whole lot of other color there and she's even got some pretty good articulation she's got the ankle and the knee movement i like that the that they've actually been starting to do a lot of the triple joints because it gives you a lot more range of motion a little bit of the hip movement right there now she's got this line on her waist but it's very tight movement however kind of at her chest, she has a lot more range there. And then her hands on her wrists spin around. She's got the elbow and the shoulder movement, which is a little tight. And of course, just a bit of that head movement, not a lot. That may be more because of her hair and her collar and back. It's not a purse. That's close enough. <laughs> Now, I know that Robert Gaming Off The Grid is quite the Borderlands fan. I wonder if he would approve of action figures or if he's like, meh, nuts to that, just give me the vinyl. <laughs> well, not to be outdone, I got myself an action figure. Of course of you did. Of course do. I did. I mean, you've just got a whole room dedicated to toys. I know. I got myself a DC Bombshell Hawk Girl. Now, this one was... Hawk <laughs> They don't do that. <laughs> this was cool because not only was she already on sale for $14.99, but all red tags were half price. Nice. So I got it for $7.50. 
there she be outside of her box. Now, I absolutely love the bombshell line. I think they've done a great job. The comic is great. The artwork is great. I love everything about it. I've always had like a little thing about for hot girl. So this was one that I definitely could not wait to get into the collection. She comes with a fun little jetpack. So instead of having just her hot girl wings, she's got little jetpack hot girl wings. That's cool. She's got the normal articulation with her ankles. She's got that triple knee joint, which is great for mobility. Something that I haven't seen a whole lot of, she's got the triple joint in her elbow, which is interesting. She has wrist movement. Would you say that's a bicep, Some bicep movement? movement? Yeah. And then shoulder movement. She does bend at the waist and very little movement right under the chest. So that's kind of an odd place to have it. She also has the head movement and everything. I love the detail on these things. I love the little cute little smirk on her face and she's got you know her goggles around her neck. She does have her hawk girl helmet on so it really does look like a hawk on the helmet. Instead of wearing her full on jumpsuit, it's kind of hanging down around her waist. So, I mean, the detail is just amazing on these things. She really is cool looking. There you go. Game comic crossover. Someone just needs to write it. Yep. Nerdlings, let me tell you, we were collecting stuff left and right. In fact, one of the pickups oh, wait, that we... Wait, 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 wait a minute. My spider sense is tingling. Uh-oh. What could that mean? I went headhunting. Whoa. Okay, Craven. Calm down. I likes me a spidey. What? Seriously, what is this? It looks like it opens. It does. Watch. Okay, only two things can be in there. Cookies or grandma. Which is it? Grandma? I'm gonna need extra milk. <laughs> this looks to be the Homecoming or it is. MCU version of Spider-Man. It actually is. It says even on the bottom that is Spider-Man Homecoming. But I think this was maybe the popcorn. I oh, think okay. I remember seeing some things online that that uh, some of the theaters were doing were having fun popcorn things. Eat your popcorn. Use popcorn brains. You know, I'd rather find popcorn in there anyway instead of opening it up and, I don't know, finding a big squishy brain. That's gross. Well, getting the brain out was the easy part. The hard part was getting the brain out. <laughs> this is also your best chance to be able to see exactly what or who is on Spider-Man's mind. Oh, didn't expect that one. I know, right? I got More. something else. Oh. I got this cute little keychain with a little tie Spider-Man on it. It's also really cool because it unscrews. I usually keep these and put some ibuprofen or a leave in there. And since it's on a keychain, it's not going to get crushed. It's not going to get messed up. It's not going to get gross and dirty and powdery. You can either clip it on. Flip it out. Flip it out. Flip it out. Or it's got the, you know, the key ring. So very handy. I will call soon. I got one more Spider-Man thing. Man, you're going spider crazy. I love my Spider-Man. I am not a hat person. I don't typically wear hats, but I was really drawn to this one. I love, love, love the new spider symbol from the spider gaming verse. So anything I can find with it on there, I'm snatching it up. And something that I learned from our good buddy Wes over at Gaming Off The Grid is starting to be fun with underneath the brim of the hats. And so ever since uh, we met up with them at Mo Game Con last year, I've been looking at brims under hats and they're just doing a lot of fun stuff under there. Because nice snap hat, it's a, just like a nice material, just nice, plain and simple, but you've got that just really beautiful symbol on it. And then you get a little fun under the hood. Sounds like fun on the bun. Shut up, I said it first. Here's Spider-Man. You wanna wear a hat? You'll grow into it. <laughs> well, let's start wrapping this up. Next, we got a couple of uh, more whimsical items. I picked up the Shantae Funko Pop. What the heck kind of pickup? What's this? You got an action figure, you got a Funko Pop, you got a plushie. 
That's, Am I rubbing off on you? That's a TLC for you. We collect it all. <laughs> there she is. She is absolutely she adorable. Is, she's a really cool Funko. I mean, she's nice and tiny and petite, which is the way the character really is. You've got her big hair, which she uses in the game. I think they've done an amazing job here with with the good proportions and everything. I mean, she really does look straight out of the video game. She's got a lot of fun details on her. I didn't really look at her too much in the box, but that is great. I also love how they have her kind of suspended up in the air like she's Yeah, jumping. that's a fun stand for her. Generally, I don't go after Funko Pop, actually. I mean, there are some cool ones out there, and I think in your room, maybe one or two are mine. <laughs> but... This was one that I couldn't resist because I really do like the Shantae games. I came to the party late, but digitally I've got all of them now because physically all of them is a little harder to find. I think we have a limited run coming up, don't we? Uh, I hope so. Someday. I picked myself up the newest Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. I don't want to break anybody's hearts, but I'm not a fan of this screwdriver. It looks really cheap. It doesn't look that great. So I never really wanted to pay full price for this. Now on the note of full price, it's got the original price sticker, right, the sticker. But it's on sticker. sale, half price of that. So, so again, seven fifty. It does work though, so you know. Now it is fun that it lights up all through it and that it's got that motion. I don't know, it still has that uh, pharmacy toy vibe to it. It does, and that's the only problem with that. I don't actually have a problem with the screwdriver itself. I love crystals, so, you know, I thought it was fun. It's a different take on the screwdrivers. They've always looked kind of mechanical before. This one is very earthy and natural. But like I said, it's the toy that I've never been a fan of. The last things are some bigger Bigger items. items. Yes, and uh, you know, we're still kind of floating off of our Hercules vibe. Our buddy Kevin Sorbo. I know. Just look at the picture. He loves I hanging know, out with us. He does. I wanted to keep that that momentum going. So I got me a Gabrielle doll. In all actuality, I really got this more for you because she was your favorite. Oh yeah, she was. <laughs> Come on, Gabrielle, get your gear off. <laughs> like that wouldn't you <laughs> and as you can see in the original box mm -hmm. so that's really cool <coughs> smells so 90s i know but she looks pretty cool she's got her outfit on there she's got her staff and everything and then you got xena chakra behind her on the, the the cardboard stuff now it is a nice touch that her clothing is actual cloth mm -hmm. too. It's not like molded or plastic or anything. It's not moldy either. Well, we're hoping so. They did a kind of good job with her face. I can tell who it's supposed to be, but almost a little bit more gaunt and stretched in her face because I think she had a very good body. She had more of a round or kind of babier face. That's what I always thought. I think that's what's kind of missing with this, but with these kind of dolls, they may have just been kind of plucking from the face molds they already had yeah. on hand and thought, this one kind of looks like Yeah, her. I feel like they tweaked it just enough to kind of resemble her, but then, you know, moved on. If you look on the back of the box, you can see that there is a Xena and a Gabriel or a Callisto, which I don't know if it's part of the picture or what, but Xena looks the shortest of all three of them, <laughs> which is kind of funny since she's supposed to be the Amazon princess. I am going to keep an eye out for Kalisto because Kalisto was my favorite. I oh, loved her. She was she likes the bad so girls. much fun. I uh, am quite impressed that Miss Gabrielle has some panties on. So uh, even my Barbies didn't have panties. They just had the painted on <laughs> panties. So that's kind of fun. She's got cloth panties on. 
Ooh, just cloth panties. Oh, Joxer would be pleased <laughs> to know about that top. <laughs> That just does not seem comfortable running through the forest with nothing on like that. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Well, sir, what did you get last? Well, this was something I've actually had my eye on for a while. Butchering this name, Kotobukiya Harley Quinn figure. Now, I must have seen this for years at our local comic shop mm -hmm. before they closed down. And yep. like all of the other statues in this line, it was very pricey. And as cool as Harley looked, I never, ever wanted to jump on it. I, know, I agree with you. As cool as she is, she's not $80. Cool. No. Now, they actually had her listed for $75, but then she was on sale for $44.99. And that red orange sticker mint half price half price half price so for 20 bucks i was like you know what that is a 20 dollars statue i'm gonna take a leap on this one there she is now she has this fun thick acrylic red base. i was gonna say the first thing i noticed it's so simple but i really like that really thick see-through red acrylic but she has a nice shine on her, which the outfit that Harley wore in the comics, this is definitely the kind of outfit that you want that shine for. Yeah, it was definitely reminiscent of a, like a rubber suit. Her face, even though her body is all shiny, her face is not. So it very much has that like painted face makeup mm -hmm. effect to it. Yeah, cake makeup is not shiny. It is very matte. And that's, you know, the kind of makeup that she used. So they've done an amazing attention to detail. And a fun touch is, speaking of that detail, her eyes have a little bit of shine and her lips. Yeah. But again, not the yeah. rest of her face. And then she's got this fun, almost pinup like pose where she's holding her mallet behind her and holding up her best asset. And it's just kind of a, a fun, flirty look because let's face it, that's exactly what Harley would do before she knocked you senseless with said mallet. Seriously, the hell's wrong with you people? We're bad guys. It's what we do. The problem that I see with this statue. I don't know which direction I want it to face on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I mean, what do, what do you think? Oh, I think I already know which direction it's gonna face. This way? <laughs> Woo, maybe we were cooped up a little too much because it so. feels like we went a little crazy. I mean, this isn't even everything that we picked up. This was just no. the easiest stuff to yeah. grab. But, what can oh, I say? I had a lot of convention money left over that, the burning a hole in my pocket. That is true. <laughs> and for the price that we got most of this stuff for, with it all being on sale, I mean, it was a little hard to resist that. Nerdlings, please leave some comments down below. Let us know if you've been able to get out and do any game or toy or collectible hunting of your own. If you're itching to get out, if there's anything that you want to check out. And, of course, leave some comments about any of the things we picked up. What you know about the games, the Tamagotchi, the controller, any of the figures, the plushies, yes. the comics, anything at all. We always love to hear from you guys. With that said, feel free to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We are making videos all the time. That's the other thing that we do besides going out and picking up stuff. <laughs> and... Of course. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Don't forget to hit us up on that retro refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it for pigeons that are going to give us coffee and Harley Quinns and half genies and angry flying little Goombas and spider brains, apparently. It's my new friend. I'm going to go. By nerdlings. Oh, that was a terrible noise. Let's just put that back. <laughs> and uh, you just, you know, you put the Wii controller and the nunchuck in here, and then you just woo, break it. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Good it's stuff. messed Come on. up. You can, you can play with okay, your toys you ready? later. Are you ready? Key. <coughs>
fall down then. Oh, ow. What am I <laughs> stepping on? It? <laughs> it's a retainer. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to start talking as soon as you're ready, so don't let me go too long. Okay. Cut in if if you want. You, you okay. don't have to do it. It's I mean it's a dumb skip thing. No, it's fine. One of the things that we picked up was how long are you letting me go? <laughs> oh, I thought we were gonna do this this I'm going to start talking. Okay. Don't let me go too long. Okay, sorry. <laughs> He's trying not to interrupt. Alright. <laughs> Shut up. One of the things that we happen to collect, or one of the things shit. You are cutting me off, remember? Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to say. <laughs> you want some popcorn? <laughs> popcorn. Want some pigeon milk? Gross. Hello! 